we're ready for game now. <laughs> but first, coffee. So, I don't know, like, I, I saw this was on sale, and I, I saw the graphical style, and I was like, you know, this is kind of like ESJ meets Jet Set Radio, and uh, I'm pretty good with that. So we'll play through the first level, uh, just to show off kind of the general feel of the game. Um, and this is the one that I played, so I didn't watch the story, so we'll watch the story. <laughs> Yeah, I hope you've had a great week, Matilda. He stole all harmony and hid it in their vile hearts. Before the divine trio started to fade, they created a heroine from the shards of a broken heart and hoped that she would one day be strong enough to save their world. That heroine is you. Oh, that's where the fairy came from. Okay. <laughs> oh, I saw this in the trailer, but I didn't actually see it because I, I skipped the cutscene. But I think I know what's going to happen here. This will be cool. Hey, listen. Mm-hmm. They got some inspiration from somewhere for sure. What he's having, right? <laughs> I am tripping so hard right now. <laughs> Transform. Silver brain. So this is our hero. I suppose. <laughs> and it's my understanding that the levels all have, like, sort of different mechanics. I haven't played this one yet. So. This is really fast paced. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's same, honestly. Like, I started playing it and I was like, this seems fun as heck. I don't really know what's going on, but it seems fun. So, I'm glad you're enjoying it, though. Okay, well, let's keep going. Hate Hill Alley, or Valley. 
9 a.m. Oh, heck yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Uh. Graphical style is really endearing to. Silver rank. Oh god. Are they gonna have a dance off? <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Okay, that was wild. funny that they have a stage called Begin Again, because <clears throat> the first thing I thought of when I heard this music was Purity Ring. What? Oh god. Oh, okay. I'm still in control there. It's a weird perspective for that. It's all right. No. <laughs> okay. No fireballs. Oh god. Oops. 
Oh! I tried to go for it. Rip. No! <laughs> can't fire at him. Why don't I get fireballs? Magic girl on motorcycle fights other magical girls. Yeah. Again, no idea why. It's just trippy as heck. And, you know, I can play along to this music, so... <laughs> I'm assuming that this is some story journey from, from this shell of a person finding some kind of... Uh, Oh no, contentment. So. Ooh. I didn't realize it waits if I don't hit the button. I thought it was like one of those uh, in time action things. So. I'll take that. The music, the visuals. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's just, it's very visually appealing to look at. So. It kind of struck me the same way as ESJ in that sense. Just very vastly different gameplay or game style than ESJ. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting to see what that, that journey ends up being. But I feel like I would play just about any game with this art style. Because I think it's amazing. Get him! Catch dinner! Oh god. Oh, that's a tree. Oh, snap. We 
got an upgrade. people to fight. Forest dub. <laughs> dub. Alright. I could go for some dub. Oh my god. <laughs> this is trippy. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> She gathers mushrooms and starts to hallucinate. Yeah, that sounds about right. It's like a Laga style level. Okay. <laughs> Red. <laughs> oh no. Oh, okay. So I gotta get rid of these guys. Speedrun win. Uh, I don't know. Let's see how long this game is. I mean, there are definitely runs of it. You, you know me, I looked that up first. <laughs> oh god. These trees are really tight. the needle on that one.
Oh my god, dude. It's so hard to see when obstacles are coming up. both doing something. Dang. What? <laughs> I feel like I'm going to be saying that through, like, most of this game. Just like, what the heck is happening? <laughs> there's always that part of the level where I'm like, yeah, okay, I get this. This makes sense, sort of. And then it's like, no, never mind. Giant Voltron Wolf. Or flying through space holding onto a playing card.
no. <laughs> Oops. I didn't think of how necessary it is to hit those. Oh wow, and it always pops me back to here. That kind of sucks. <laughs> It's a duel. Okay, this is pretty sick. <laughs> Bronze rank. Yeah, this game has literally everything in it. <laughs> Flying through space with magic powers. Uh, motorcycle through the woods to fight a giant mecha wolf. Um, sword fights. Uh, a dub level. <laughs> um, other things I'm not thinking of that are also wild. Oh, what? What? This is insane. Oh my god. <laughs> ba ballet, yeah, that was another one. This might be one of the single most creative things I've ever seen in a game. Oh god. It's so hard to deal with though. Because <laughs> there are three different versions of the level. got me up to here. I don't even see that in any of... Oh, I see it now. Okay. Hmm. Man. No! I will make your wish come true. Would you like to skip this bit? No, I want to keep going. Are you kidding? <laughs> Rush hour in the city must be a nightmare, right? <laughs> That's cool that they built in a skip feature for people, though, to avoid the levels of frustration that might come from something like this. Really? Okay. We got it like that. All right, nice. Yeah, accessibility features are great. Ain't no shame. Everybody's just here trying to enjoy the game. However they do that is all right by me. Oh my god. <laughs> wall running. Add wall running to the list. <laughs> and sword fights on motorcycles. <laughs> I 
Welcome, Dad. <laughs> Welcome to probably the craziest game I've ever played. <laughs> oh my god. FF7 Escape from Midgar Rhythm Game. I mean, it definitely has those vibes, for sure. It's not even technically a rhythm game. Those are action sequences, too. They, they're not keyed to the music. Oh, no! <laughs> So, yeah, so this is Sayonara Wild Hearts, um, and it's apparently a, uh, a story game along to a pop album, and it has some of the wildest gameplay, variety of gameplay, surely, um, of any game, uh, and obviously a fantastic art style, so... Yeah, I, I played the first level of it yesterday, just to see if it was something I might want to play on stream, and it was just immediately like, okay, this game is going to be great. <laughs> it's pretty wild. You should check out the, the Steam description on it. It basically... It tells you that and gives you an idea of what the gameplay is. Uh, this is probably some of the more tame gameplay in the game. Oh wait, never mind. What? Wait, where am I? Oh. <laughs> never mind. It, it was tame until that happened. <laughs> and now I have no idea what's going on. I need more coffee, guys. I will be right back. Don't go anywhere. Oh god. I sat back down and Windows is like, hey, do you want to update right now? And I'm like, no. <laughs> Please, go away. Um, let's say we'll set it for Friday at 11 p.m. There. Perfect. Fantastic. Alright. Just a tiny bit of seizure warning to start the day. Yeah. Yeah, the whole game is kind of all over the place. To be fair, um, I, I didn't 
figure that some of the levels would get as wild as that. I thought the first level was like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Clippy shows up. Hey, it looks like you're streaming. Do you want to restart your computer? No. Oh, this is going to be great. Oh my god. It actually drives like a car, too. What the heck? Oh my god. <laughs> what? Okay. Wow. Actually, really surprising. And before next week's streams are Forza, F-Zero, Need for Speed, and GTA. <laughs> Honestly, like, at some point I probably will run a Need for Speed game. Because I, I think there's some pretty decent strategy there. I never got into GTA. And Forza feels boring to me, I don't know why. What? Oh my god, what the heck? <laughs> um, oh, okay. So glad I said Need for Speed and not GTA. Yeah, I mean, the GTA running community it does have a pretty good following. Um, it's just not my thing. Oh god. A little faster this time. Everything was blocked up. Where the heck am I supposed to go? about to change and then it didn't. Uh... <laughs> the best racing game is rock and roll racing. I mean, you're not wrong. a wildly unexpected level. Of course, I also didn't expect for the main character to get turned into a, a, a VR cartridge. <laughs> Put into a VR headset, so... Oh, 
Oh, those kill me. Okay, good. Oh my god. Yeah, I, this level has me thinking just how incredibly creative this game is. Ha, I got it. I'm just, I, I am literally astounded that this game has the variety that it has. Oh no, it didn't give me the power up this time. Dear. I'm not gonna get that one. <laughs> oh. Boss time? Alright. Oh god. What? <laughs> Confirms that I need to play just shapes and beats? Alright. Okay. Tricky. Would you like to skip this? No, I do not want to skip this. <laughs> I want to figure it out and beat it. <laughs> That's tricky. Okay, I think I get it. No. Oh, it's up top this time. Okay, that's why I missed it. No! Oh no! I got the fire power up. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, it's just shapes and beats 
only on PS4 or has it come to Steam yet? I'm not really sure. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Okay, so so far we've had controls for flying through space, driving a motorcycle, driving a car, and now steering a boat. <laughs> Wild. It is on PC? Okay. Probably preferable to play with mouse and keyboard. Gotcha. I'll have to check it out. Oh, there's a whirlpool there. I didn't even see that. Okay. That explains the spinning hearts. Switch has a demo. Oh, it's on Switch. Okay, cool. I'm literally just falling. <laughs> I'm not even flying, I'm just falling. <laughs> okay. I'll have to check out the demo on the Switch. <clears throat> it's It has been one of those games I've been looking at. Oh my lord. That image frightens me a little bit. motorcycle time. Oh my god. Okay. One v one me, bro. Oh god. Okay. Oh, ho. I see what this does now. <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait, you can't start me there. That's rude. <laughs> I disagree with that being a checkpoint. needs to make a Tron game. I'm telling you. Like, the art style is so much of it. The music's good. Don't get me wrong. But, like, visually, I would probably play any game that has this art style. I love this art style. I don't know. 
it's just like the the very abrupt shading on everything is really great. Oh my god. <laughs> so, a bow on a motorcycle. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty red. <laughs> What's up, Mato? <laughs> also, worth noting that this is the first level we've had a bow in. It was not previously introduced. <laughs> Your body hates you today after getting that treadmill in? It's a good hate. Keep up the good work, man. Proud of you. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I was not expecting a rotating hallway. Okay. Sec, I'll read chat in a minute. This is a little, uh, little focus intensive here. Oh god! <laughs> I'm so confused right now. Oh my god. <laughs> no, <laughs> I hit the button. God. Oh, okay.
No. <laughs> One punch man. <laughs> oh god. This is... Uh, yeah, this is the most intense this game has gotten so far. Um, I think I'm safe in this corner, though. Oh god. No. Yeah, I would say that was a boss fight. <laughs> Let me read back through through chat real quick. Um, yo, what's up, Rolls? Welcome, dude. Yeah, this game is wild, man. It's it's so wildly creative. It's ridiculous. Um, oh, that was just getting the treadmill in? Oh, I gotcha. Just getting it inside. I gotcha. Okay. This looks fun. It's pretty fun, yeah. Uh, yeah, definitely get your chill on. Wow. Had to move an elliptical up and down your two-story house by yourself. You feel your pain? Yeah. I, I made the movers move my treadmill. Uh, and then I got rid of it. So <laughs> I just never used it and it was taking up space. So. Um. Okay, here we go. And it's on Switch. Yeah, this game's on Switch. Pretty sure. Yeah, it's it's on sale on Steam right now, which is how I got it. I think it's ten bucks on Steam right now. And like, I watched the trailer for it, and I was like, "This sounds pretty awesome," honestly. And then I played the first level after I bought it, and I was like, "Oh yeah, I'm definitely playing this." <laughs> it, it is incredibly fun. It's probably one of the most creative games I've played in a really long time, honestly. And one of the features that's that's really nice for people of all skill levels is if you die a lot to a certain area, it will uh, it'll ask you if you just want to skip it. So it it is purely about just enjoying the gameplay. knew it was coming around. Yeah, will cause seizures, but worth it. Yeah, it's a little flashy. No! Ah, he's so fast. Getting close to getting that that thing where it's like, hey, yeah, there you go. <laughs> I don't want to skip this. Thing. What? Oh, <laughs> all right. Shoot him.
No. I saw that one come in too. Dang. <laughs> That's rude. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> I got a sword. Oh my god, okay, this is probably the most seizure-inducing level out of all of them. This is hard to look at. <laughs> well, that was unexpected. Oh, it's replaying all the, all the boss fights, that's awesome. If you haven't seen the game up to now, you're probably way more confused than than I am. <laughs> but some of these things occurred in the game already. So. Suddenly Street Fighter? It has Street Fighter-esque action sequences. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool that it's going back through everything. Yeah, I've only been playing this for like an hour. <laughs> I think it might be a really, really short game. And Panzer Dragoon style gameplay, okay. <laughs> or Knights, depending on which way you want to go on that. Drakengard 1? Really? Okay. I'll have to check out Drakengard. Hadouken! Silver. <laughs> For years she fell through spirals of sadness and anger until she could not fall any deeper and fell right back into her grave. I think I've gotten like two golds so far.
Okay, that was really, really good. That was crazy good. Um... Yo, thanks for the GG. <laughs> well, I didn't expect it to take a little over an hour. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, Maho. Um, the it it had gris like feels to it, and so I was like, I want to play this. This seems good. I I wasn't sure if it would be something that other people would get into, but I had a blast playing it. Um, so I have a bunch of time left, <laughs> so I guess, uh, let's do, oh, it's just rolling credits, okay, yeah, that's fine. The backlog. <laughs> Alright, um, for everybody that's here, uh, press one for a replay or two for a different game. Since I know some of you missed out on it. But I think one of the other games I was looking at maybe playing today was Bloodstained. I think that was one of my other ones. Let's see. What did I set up scenes for? That'll that'll tell me what I was looking at playing. I was looking at playing Limbo, Bloodstained, uh, a second try at Octahedron. Um, just because I knew I could split it up across multiple days. Um... And, yeah, that, those are the main ones, so. Can you pick both? Both at the same time. Fantastic. You guys are great. <laughs> two, two, okay. Two and you watch the bud? All right, sounds good. Uh, mm. Cool. Mm. Queen Latifah is the narrator. I did not pick up on that. That's that's kind of funny. <laughs> wow. Of all the people that you'd pick as a narrator. I mean, not not nothing against it. It's just like I haven't heard Queen Latifah in like 20 years, so. <laughs> but yeah, um my opinion of this game it's ridiculous it is absolutely insane um probably the most creative game i've ever played in my life uh, and i highly recommend it